Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating a VCUG, which is avoiding cystourethrogram. Uh, it's a little bit different from a male to a female, so I'm going to go over both with you. For a male and a female both, we are going to do a scalp film. Uh, we're going to then let the radiologist look at the film prior to uh, injecting the contrast. And if the patient does not have a catheter, the nurse will, prior to us uh, doing the exam, will actually put a catheter in for us. And then after we've had the scalp looked at, we will then hook up the, uh, the bag or the, uh, the bottle of contrast that we're going to let go in, cystoconray, and uh, we're going to let it fill up. And as far as how much we're going to let it fill up, it's, uh, there's an old saying that they do it to the toes curl. And that's an old saying from one of the radiologists. And it's, it's sort of true. It's, the patient's really going to feel full. You're going to go a little past that. As long as the bottle's dripping, you want to let the patients uh, let the, continue to fill up in the patient because we want it as full as possible. Because they're, they're wanting to see if there's reflux in the patient that actually it's going from the bladder, actually going back into the ureter, into the kidney. So that's one of the reasons uh, uh, we're going to get it as full as we possibly can, they can so they can see the whole contours of the bladder. Now for a male, the routine views are going to be after we have done our scalp, will be and we fill the patient up, will be an AP and then we'll do an RPO with the patient in a 45 degree oblique. Okay? And you're going to do the AP after you the patient again is full and then the RPO. After that we're going to go to the radiologist and he's going to look at the films and verify that yes the patient is full, he sees all he needs, and then we're going to actually pull the catheter. The patient will actually have to void on the table. When they void, they need to be in the 45 degree uh, RPO position. You're going to put towels down uh, to help cover it up so there's not a big mess and all that. Uh, sometimes you have to turn water on, things like that to help the patient void because it is a little hard sometimes for a patient to void while people are watching and trying to take an x-ray. Now for a female, after doing our scalp film and letting the doctor look at those films, then you'll take and you're going to fill them up also. And once they are full, you're going to do an AP and then you're going to do a lateral. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Then after you do those films, you're going to take them to the radiologist and we're going to let him look at those and if he says he sees all that he needs, we will then do uh, a voiding film. The voiding film for a female will just be with him uh, in a supine position. Again, we'll just put towels down uh, to keep uh, making such a mess and we'll have the patient tell us when they're voiding and we'll try and catch the patient voiding on the table. So those are the views that we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. First of all, I'll go ahead and demonstrate if this was a male patient. So we're going to do the, the scalp film, which I'm not going to really have to demonstrate uh, too much on that because you've already seen a KUB. It's just going to be again at the crest. We want to make sure that the bladder, entire bladder is included. I'm going to use a right marker. Our borders, uh, collimation up and down, skin margins, side to side. Uh, technique is going to be 77 to 81 kV. Uh, and then we're going to again, after we make the exposure on this with the patient on expiration, we're going to take it to the radiologist, he looks at the films, and then we're going to come back and we're going to inject the contrast. Okay, once the contrast again is in, this is again a male patient, we're going to go ahead and do repeat the film that we just took, which will be the AP. We want to make sure we're actually going to center down just a little lower because we don't, you can tell from your scout if your centering was good, but you want to make sure that the entire bladder is included. But you do want to see the ureters because we are looking to see if there's possibility of reflux happening. So then we're going to take this film. Again, the patient will expose on expiration. Technique's going to remain the same, 77 to 81 kV center cell. Then the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to use the sponge here. We're going to have the patient roll up toward me. Put the sponge behind him here. Let me straighten this leg out for me. Okay, so we're going to scoot you back just a little. There we go. So about a 45 degree oblique. Our centering, we're going to just take and center. We're going to palpate the crest. We're going to go down. Uh, or to level the crest. I'm sorry, I was thinking of the post boy here. We're going to center to level the crest and at the patient, the center of the film, or I'm sorry, the center of the patient in their oblique. We should see a little bit of light here, and we should see a little bit of light back here, which we do. We're going to use the right marker because it is a right oblique, a right posterior oblique. Okay, so again, we're going to take this film, and this will be our uh, oblique full film. And after this film is when we actually go to the radiologist and let the radiologist look at the film. And after he sees it and sees, yes, I've seen everything that I need, then we're going to do the post void. So we're going to take it again. We're going to use, uh, a, a, we're going to actually change the film to an 11 by 14 for the, your, the post void, or voiding, sorry.
And our centering for this is going to change just a little bit. We're going to actually come down from the crest, about three to four inches here. Crest here, about three to four inches down. We're going to use a right marker because, again, the patient's still in the right oblique, the right posterior oblique. And we want to make sure that we put some towels, uh, some chucks or something down here so to keep trying to make a, a, as much of a mess as we possibly can. You can actually keep the gown here uh, just as long as it, you know, uh, it's not going to be obstructed. You don't want the towels under the patient. You want them to be down from the patient so when they, they are avoiding, it's just going into the towel or the chucks. Okay? Then after we do this view here, we're going to take go back to the radiologist and we're going to let him look at the film and make sure that he sees everything he needs on the voiding film. If he does, the next thing you can do is let the patient continue on and go to the restroom, continue to void, and after that we will do a post-void film. After the post-void film is done, again the radiologist looks at the film, verifies that everything is complete, and then the patient can leave. Now if we're doing a female, I'm going to take this out. Again we're going to do the scalp film and take it back to the radiologist. Then we're going to come back in, we're going to in, uh, inject the contrast, the Cisto Conray. We'll then use a, for the first, fill, first full film, we're going to use 14 by 17 lengthwise, right marker. We're going to just do a KUB, MSP at the level of the crest. Culmination is IR borders and skin margins side to side. And we're going to do, this is our full AP position film. We want to see all the bladder and we also we're looking to see if there's reflux on this. Okay, so we're looking to see if there's any reflux going up into the ureters to the kidneys. The next film we're going to do for a female patient is going to be our lateral full film. Again, we're going to change and put an 11 by 14 film in. And have the patient you would roll up onto your right side. It's just easier working, I think, from the right side so with the patient on this one here. I'm just going to make sure that the patient is straight. Okay. And then as far as centering goes, center to my film. The patient is on the right side, so again I can use my right marker. Then I'm going to take and again I'm going to palpate the crest. I'm going to go down about three, four inches and center. A little bit anterior, but more to this MCP. Okay. So then we're going to take and uh, again we're going to have the patient. We're going to put towels and 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 uh, chucks here so we can look to see if we have uh, uh, something to cover up so that when the patient does void, there's nothing uh, going to be getting in making such a mess. And we're going to step to the back again to shoot the, uh, this film. We're going to tell the patient to try to void. When they're voiding, they can tell us. We may again have to put water on, something like that, to help them go to the bathroom. Once we shoot the voiding film, we're going to go back to the radiologist, let them look at it, make sure that they again have seen all they need on the voiding part of this, uh, the study. And if they have, then we can let the patient go to the bathroom, continue to void, and come back and we will do the post-void film on the female patient. This is our VCUGs for male and female patients.